Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and today we're going to be diving straight into a fan theory in today's episode. That is right guys, because about a month ago I did a tweet talking about how Lester could actually be Brad in GTA 5, talking about the fan theory, which I've seen loads and loads of you guys tell me about in GTA. And I decided, you know what, let's do a video on this talking about what could be and what couldn't be with this theory and uh, compare the pros to the cons on Lester to Brad in GTA 5. So basically, for those of you guys who don't know, there's a huge fan theory in GTA 5, which has been going around the community by, I would say, at least tens of thousands of people have been talking about this. And there's actually an entire group of people who believe that Lester is actually Brad in GTA 5, and Lester managed to change his identity or something. Because, to be honest, guys, if anyone knows Lester, you will know that he is definitely capable of doing that. But the main point here, which everyone is talking about, is Lester and Brad literally look like the same person. If we compare them side by side, side, they literally look the same, and considering Prologue was 9 years in the past, it does make sense for the Brad version to look younger than the Lester version, because the version of Lester would of course be Brad 9 years later in the future. Really interesting theory, but just comparing them both side by side, I mean they do kind of look freakishly alike, like I'm not too sure how else to say this, but they do actually look alike, which is why this fan theory has come around. And what people have done is tried to fill in the cracks to make sure this theory is flawless, to make sure that they know 100 110% that Lester was actually Brad in GTA 5 and the entire of prologue was actually an entire setup not only against us but against Trevor heavily 100% like Trevor was the one they were trying to get so I'm going to go through everything which has been going in this theory I'm going to fill in the cracks and we'll let you guys know the detail and we're going to come to a conclusion at the end of this video as well but most importantly I just want to ask you guys to smash that thumbs up button I mentioned this fan theory a few weeks ago telling you guys about it and loads of you guys wanted me to go into depth and explain more detail about this because it was kind of like something I briefly said like oh and Lester could be Brad and loads of you guys were like wait what seriously <laughs> So I mean, I guess we have to do this video at some point, so let me just quickly take subtitles off as well because I don't want Trevor shouting at me in the corner. Oh my days. But yeah, there's so many similarities. So I've shown you guys that Lester and Brad do look alike. I mean, no one can deny that. They do actually look alike in terms of character to character. But if we take a look at the next clue in this entire investigation, in this entire fan theory, it's just around the corner. So let's just quickly go and take off the doors because I know what you guys are thinking. What about the person in the grave? What about the person who Michael buried in GTA 5, who of course was Brad? I mean, if Lester was Brad, then how can we explain the person buried in the grave? Well guys, the fan theory goes that not only do they look alike because they are alike and they are the same person, but if you go inside here and quickly pick up all the cash we can and just go into this, but if you guys go through here, you guys will know that a guard does actually come around the corner. And the interesting thing is, this is where things get even more freaky. The guard you see right here, or also looks kind of like the person in the grave as well. And this is where the fan theory is trying to fill in the cracks and stuff, trying to say, okay, so if Lester was Brad, then the person in the grave has to be the guard, because the guard is the only person you take out in prologue, personally. Like, it's the only person you personally take out. All the other ones are just taken out in squads and fleets and stuff. The guard is the only person who you personally take out, who could kind of pass for Brad being in the grave a few years later when you do end up digging him up. So, that's kind of like the main bulk of this theory, and of course course, at the end, when Brad does get taken out in prologue, that could explain to why Lester has this limp and why he has to hop around and stuff like that with a walking stick. If Lester was really Brad, then it would make sense for Lester to have this hop, to have this limp, because he does walk around with a walking stick. So it would make sense that nine years later, that could have done something to Brad's body, it could have prevented him from walking as he would do in prologue, which is why Lester does have this walking stick. And of course, last but not least, I mean, there's a few other details, but the main detail is that as you guys will know if you have seen my video where we did showcase Lester in prologue. Uh, Lester was actually taken out of prologue. At the end of GTA 5 when Rockstar Games did end up completing the game, they actually removed Lester from prologue, but he was originally in there. And what players believe is Rockstar Games did that because they wanted to make this theory that Lester was actually Brad in GTA 5. And by removing him in prologue, it would create this theory that maybe, just maybe, Brad did end up surviving this and he of course became Lester. Because for those of you guys you don't know, if you don't believe Lester was in prologue, all you gotta do is play friend request. I'll show you guys the clip right now. I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. 
So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone that instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos. And you can hear Lester is telling Michael that he can trust him because Michael kept his name off the list back in prologue. So Lester was definitely part of this mission, but no one can see him anywhere because we have tried to search for him and he's literally nowhere to be found. He's only in the game files from the content Rockstar Games did remove from the game. So we know Lester is in prologue. We know he looks exactly like Brad. We know Lester has a limp, which could have been because Brad was hit in prologue, which could explain why Lester has that limp and of course we know that the person in the grave could of course be the guard who we did just take out because they do actually look similar and we could just be playing Trevor on a huge scale right now. But the reason why I don't believe Lester was Brad in GTA 5 is because of the backstory Rockstar Games give into this. They go into so much detail throughout campaign and I guess the main reason is that you do actually see Brad get taken out in prologue. I mean I'm not going to deny that guys, you do see him get hit. You will of course see that in this video as well and of course a few other reasons is is that if you just play GTA 5, I mean, Trevor is fairly adamant that he saw Brad in that grave. And throughout the entire story, even Michael admits it as well. But if you guys have played any of campaign, you will understand that Brad definitely was taken out in prologue. I mean, he definitely was. If he wasn't, then every single person in this game, every single character would have been playing and taking part in this Easter egg to try and trick us, the player. Which, of course, could happen, which is why this fan theory has emerged, I guess, in the community. But it just, it can't be. And I guess the other reason is that Lester was definitely in prologue and uh, we know that he did have some sort of feature in prologue and of course we also know this because in the content Rockstar Games scrapped from prologue I believe it was Brad who said let's not give the man with the walking stick 20 cents on the dollar or something like Brad did directly mention Lester so it's a pretty big kind of hint that Brad and Lester are two different people uh, and of course there's a few other things which we go into detail on as well I mean if any of you guys have played any of story mode you would understand that Brad just can't be Lester and Lester can't be Brad. But I got to admit, guys, it's a pretty awesome fan theory. I've been playing this game for four years and I've heard a lot of fan theories and this one has to be one of my favorite ones. I mean, I've seen loads of you guys tell me about this. I did a tweet about this. It got so much support and loads of you guys were responding to it like, hey, that could actually be a thing. So I decided, you know what? Let's go into the pros and cons of this. And honestly, there's too many things going against this, like way too many things. It's not like one or two things. It's just like the entire story goes against this theory. And if this theory was correct, then every single character would be playing a part in this theory, including Dave. Let's not forget Dave, guys. He's the person who took out Brad, and throughout campaign, he also messages Trevor from Brad's phone. And if Lester was secretly Brad, Trevor would know in an instant. He would know straight away. So, I mean, we definitely know 100% Lester is not Brad. It would just be way too complicated in GTA 5. But is he capable of being Brad? Definitely, guys, which is why this fan theory has emerged. Not only do they look extremely similar, I mean, I guess they could be brothers, but then again, I'm not too sure why Rockstar Games would add that quote in from Brad, which was removed, which basically said, let's not give the walking stick guy 20 cents on the dollar, because if that was my brother, I would not be saying that. I'll be like, okay, let's just go on. Let's try and get out of here alive. So, I mean, I, I got to admit, guys, it's a very convincing theory, but it's just... It's not true. It is just not true. So for those of you guys wondering whether Lester is Brad in GTA 5, absolutely not, guys. Definitely he's capable of being Brad. I mean, it's an awesome theory nonetheless. I mean, I'm not going to rule out that he could be Brad's brother, but I just don't think he is, considering the line Rockstar Games gave Brad in GTA 5 before they removed it, before the final version was released. But if you guys want to see more information about this, I will link it at the end of this video as well, in case you guys are wondering. Either way, it's just such an awesome theory, and I needed to make a video on this to kind of give my details and my thoughts on it as well because so many of you guys like literally day by day I see more and more comments about this theory saying hey isn't Lester Brad is Lester Brad or could Lester be Brad and stuff and I'm like to be honest I mean it's a very convincing theory but it just it can't be so for those of you wondering no Lester was not Brad in GTA 5 and of course I mean I don't need to state the obvious but if you guys do actually look inside the grave where you do end up digging up Brad the person in the grave he has hair and the 
person who we took out in prologue, the guards, he doesn't have hair. That's also a huge hint that, hey, maybe they're not the same. Maybe they're different characters. So Lester and Brad are definitely different characters, but it's an awesome fan theory nonetheless. And I've also got a Lester Crest uh, profile as well. His background shows he does actually suffer from a wasting disease, which has gradually worn down his motor skills during his life and left him wheelchair bound. Though he is able to walk short distances with the use of a cane, due to limited mobility, Lester has grown considerably overweight and he also suffers from asthma. That explains Lester's injury as well. So it definitely wasn't taken from Prologue. Of course, he does mention his injury very slowly throughout GTA 5 campaign, enough to get this detail on the GTA wiki, but it definitely says 100% that the injury was not done from Prologue. That is exactly why he's wheelchair bound in GTA 5. It's not because he was hit in Prologue, but either way, guys, there's just, there's so many awesome things going towards this fan theory, and I can totally understand why loads of you guys might think this in GTA 5. But once again, I just want to confirm 110%, Lester is not Brad in GTA 5, but the fan theory is awesome, because I gotta be honest, guys, when I did see this fan theory, I was like, hmm, wait a minute, could Lester actually be Brad? Like, did he change his identity? But after doing some research and after finding out everything to do with this theory, I mean, it's just, it's not so. It's not so, guys. Lester is definitely not Brad in GTA 5. So, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Unfortunately, that's everything I have for you guys today. But, of course, guys, I recommend you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. But look at that, guys. There's Brad. I mean, he's definitely gone. I mean, look at that. He's definitely gone. Like, taken out 100%. And it definitely is not Lester. So, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, once again, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you still think Lester was Brad in GTA 5? I would love to know your reasoning why, because it's a huge fan theory in the community, and I just wanted to make a video talking about this, talking about the pros and cons, and how it cannot be. So, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, and of course, if you want to see me do anything else on my channel in the future, make sure you guys comment it in the comments section below, and you never know, guys, your idea might make it into another video. But guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.